Customers, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a Mercedes uh, key fob with a problem. Um, uh, it, it actually drains the batteries very quickly. The customer changes the batteries every two weeks. This is not normal. Um, I've actually measured everything on the PCB board. Let me show you. This is the key fob. The battery, the battery here has been changed or soldered on the PCB board before. This is the factory soldering of the first button. This is the second button. I've checked everything there is no short on the pcb board and the only suspicious thing is this which i don't know because i don't have any schematics for this pcb but if we measure in the ohms mode the first switch the original the factory one we see a resistance of 300 let me show you. We see a resistance of around 386 kilo ohms. And if we measure on the second switch, we measure 50 kilo ohm resistor. I don't know if these numbers are correct or not. But the other thing I've noticed is this. If we check on the second switch, there is a filter here next to the switch, which is actually it's very close. The metal casing of the switch is very close to this filter. It's actually like shorting this filter. If I tilt the PCB a little bit, you can probably see, it's out of focus, but you can probably see, let me focus, that it's actually touching on the filter. So what we're going to do is desolder the switch and solder it one millimeter, millimeter below this filter so it doesn't touch it. So let's do it. So first we're going to apply some flux on the joints here. All right. And then we also desolder it. Try to lift it from both ends. First, this end. Or try to move it a little bit below. better now. There is a bigger gap between the filter and this switch. Let me check. I think it needs a little bit more. So let's check the resistance here. Shorting. It's 
very tiny component. And the resistance is 54 kilo ohms. So it's not touching. What about this point? 46 ohms. about the resistance of the switch now. Now it's now it's three mega ohms. The resistance now is three mega ohms. Three point five mega ohms. Wow. Let me check closer. Let me zoom out. It's very close. The microscope cannot focus. It's impossible to focus. It's not touching, but it's okay. I think we are okay. But it's very, very close. It's very, very, very close, but it's not touching. All right. I think we are okay now. See again. I think we are okay now. Let's check the button. This is nice. Let's check the resistance again. We have 1.2 mega ohms on the other switch. 1.5 mega ohms. I think we are okay now. All right. So we will put the batteries and test the key fob, give it to the customer and check it again. I think this was the problem of this specific one. You can clearly see now that, that there is a gap between the filter and the button. Nothing is touching. We moved the switch a little bit further away from the, this filter. And if we measure again the resistance between the legs of the filter, show you you cannot see the multimeter but I will let you know the measurement um, we're gonna measure this specific leg here and this specific leg here and it's measuring 55 kilo ohms so there's no short for sure so i think we are okay so i will uh, install this key back to the um, 
the plastic case and uh, I think the problem is resolved. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.